hello amazing people welcome back to my channel guys how are you all doing today i hope you're all doing great today i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful and stylish bralette flare jumpsuit yes guys very interesting one trust me when i say that and super easy of course so if you want to know how i achieved this then you need to stick around to the end of this video as i trek you through this journey here is the fabric I'm going to be using here today, this beautiful African print. And I, of course, I have my working tools for my measuring tape, scissors, some pins, chalks, and of course, my ruler. So what I'm going to do now is to start cutting out this fabric. Well, first thing, remember this is a jumpsuit and the length of this jumpsuit is going to be 40 inches. So I'm going to take away a half length of 17 inches first, so I'm left to 23. So 23 is going to be the length of my flare, okay, the length of my shirt, actually. I remember it's going to be a flesh shot so this is actually unique from our regular you know straight bands and all that okay yes so getting started first i'm going to be laying this fabric on the table so that we can get started so the first thing i'm going to do right now is to make a triangular fold so first of all i am working with approximately two years of this fabric okay so i'm making fold um of this in a triangular form like you see me doing so ordinarily i should be cutting out um my my um, back and the front piece separately because it's going to have um, a zipper but i'm not going to do that i'm going to um you know um, leverage on the fact that i will have an excess is when i'm cutting out my flare as in the waistline yes because there's always tendency that when you're making um, a flare cut you there's likely to have some little excesses so that excess is i'm going to be using that as my zipper allowance so first of all i'm going to take the waist um circumference that i'm working with is um 36 so when i divide it by 3.142 right we are cutting out a flare i'm going to have um, 11.4 there about so i approximated it to 11 so you see me making my measurement and i placed my tape at the top of this triangle and i took note of what the 11 inches mark so after that i'm just checking out the curve to be sure that i have the exact waist measurement of 36 plus some excesses remember i said the excesses is going to serve as my zipper allowance so i had a little bit of excesses so i went ahead to just you know take the curve a little bit down okay so when i did that you see i had about um nine inches here right or um 9.5 inches which actually gave me 9.5 times some four that gives me 38 I remember the length of uh, my waist circumference was 36 so that extra two inches is going to serve as my zipper allowance so the next thing I'm going to do now is to take the length of uh, my hip line so from the waist to my hip line was nine inches so I took note of that at nine inches okay yes so because um I need to make a straight line on the other part so i went ahead to move my tape upwards okay i moved my tape upward to that tip of the triangle and still took note of what i have at that point where i've already marked my hip line so you can see it was 20 inches so what i will do now is to move it carefully move it to the other end so moving it to the other end is going to what give me what a straight line to work with so i went ahead to take note of that point and i of course use my ruler to cut connect the two points together to give me a straight line so that represented what my hip line okay yes so the next thing i'm going to take note of now is the crotch depth so remember that the crotch depth um uh, for if you are cutting out a jumpsuit is it's usually a difference when you are cutting out your regular pants so when i'm cutting out a jumpsuit my my crotch depth is always 35 so what i did was to place my tape at the 17 inches mark on that waistline remember we are taking away half length of 17 so i placed it at 17 inches mark and i took note of what my crotch depth and i repeated the same process i did on for that hip line to get a straight line on the other side so after that i took note of um the line from that point i connected i went inward by two inches on that crotch step so that i can actually create my crotch but before that i needed to confirm that what i have on that hip line was actually what's going to fit in my hip measurement so i actually had my hip measurement with some allowances which was good so i went ahead what to create my crotch like you see and after that i took it straight down to the floor line so here i needed to what take note of my the length of my shot okay so from that way 
waist. Remember, we said 40 inches for the full length, took away half inches, then it was 23, right? So from that waistline, I marked 23. So in order to get a perfect curve, I still took my tape to the tip of the triangle and I took it all the way to the other end so that I can what mark out my curve. But in doing that, I realized that the fabric was shortened, okay? So which means I was going to be joining some piece of fabric to make up for that extra piece. So if you could notice that, okay? So I was going to do that, you know, much later. So here, guys, like this short... And was ready guys yes yeah, it was ready you can see this was as easy as that so that is it guys on how i created this um pleasure the next thing i did of course was to go ahead what and cut this entire you know piece out okay but also taking note that um the the unfold part was going to be what you know slitted open okay yes yeah, so go ahead and slit open so this is how my cutting is going it's going to go all through you know the crotch and go through the curve and also like i said i'll be slitting open what this unfold part okay yes guys so once this was done the next thing of course will be what to start joining this entire piece remember i said i was going to make up for that piece that was shortened okay so i i'll go ahead what and cut out an extra piece to make up for that guys like we're done we are practically done you know with the cutting up of the shot so the first thing i did was just to quickly take note of two inches from the waistline i notched it so i'm going to use that one as um the point where i'm going to be applying fixing in a pocket because i'm going to fix a pocket for this um front piece okay yes guys so of course the next thing is to what cut out the upper part which is the bralette so for the bralette, remember we said the half length was 70 inches. And for my bralette, all I need was what from my shoulder to my under bust, which is what 15 inches. So 15 inches from that 17 inches, I have two inches left. So that two inches is going to be for the band. So if you see here, I have two pieces. Now this two piece is for what for both um the main piece and the lining. And I have 11 inches equal length for both the front and the and the two the entire side. The four sides are equal okay yes guys so how i achieve this point is the length of my measurement from my shoulder to my under bust which is 15 i took away five inches which is 10 and i added extra one inches to it that made it what 11 so and also i need to take away um the bust circumference of um 38 the vault segment of 38 divided it by 4 i had 9.5 and i added 0 0.5 inches to it making it what um, 10 as well and i've gone ahead to also add one inches to it making it 11 so that's how i actually got my 11 inches mark so see how i made my fold i'm just cutting through that part okay and that sharp edge i have there i'll go ahead what and make a curve so at this curve i am making now you can see when you open it up this is how the shape should look like so what i'm going to do now is to make a stitch on that opening okay you already have some part that is closed up so that part that is open i'm just going to make a stitch so i'm using my pin now you know to demonstrate it so that you see how the stitch is going to go so once i was done making that stitch if you open it up you will see that your bralette is already forming what is coming into shape okay you can see this looking all beautiful already so what i did here right now I'm going to be re repeating the same process for the other piece I have. Okay, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Then after that, of course, we'll be going through what the next step. So once I was done creating it, you can see my um, bra cup is already coming into shape. So I have it for the main piece and also was for the lining. So what I'm going to do now is to attach my strip. Okay, so you see me here, I have my very long strip here. So this is about three inches in width. Okay, and um, the length I have here, I think is about 32 inches or 35 inches in length. Okay, so what I did now is to go make a fold. I actually have four pieces of this strip, so I'm going to be 
me um, making a, a strip for each of them but I'm actually using two for just the tie for this bralette so this is how my fold is going I'm going to make like an half inches fold on both sides after that I'll bring it all together at the center to give me what a tiny strip so I'm going to run a stitch all through so once I was done making this stitch so what I'm going to do now is to attach it to the tip of that bralette so you can see this now I'm going to attach it to the tip of the bralette placing it at that edge there when I'm placing it there I will also take the lining take the lining as well and place it on top of it okay so this lining is going to you know be sewn making sure that what the right side of each fabric was are facing each other so i'm going to sew it on both sides so once i'm done then you will see the shape of this bralette is coming into light so you can see this already guys this is looking all beautiful so what is left now is to attach this now to the lower part which is the bar remember i said after taking away 15 inches the leftover um inch was two inches which is going to be for the band so i'm using this strip okay and what I have here is about 5.5 .5 there about. So I'm going to make a fold into two. So what I will do now is to make a fold to get a center point from this band. Okay, so when I make the center point, this is the part where I'm going to be attaching what my bralette. So I'm placing the tip of this bralette. You can see me turning and making sure that the right side are facing each other. I'm placing it in such a way that the two tips are overlapping each other just a little bit, just like half of an inch, you know, overlapping each other at that center point of the band. Okay. So once I'm done doing that, then I'll go ahead what and use my pin, you know, to hold it down. Okay. So yeah, so holding this down, you can see me now. Now, once I'm done holding this down, then what I will do now is to go ahead what and run a stitch all through. So if you do that, you will see now that um, this upper piece what is ready. So what I will do now is to now take my shot and what attach it what to the lower piece so this is going to be of course the front piece of my shirt i'm going to be what attaching it here so if you see my shirt what i did now is to take note of the center point of that bra one and attach it to the midpoint of my flesh shirt so for my flesh shirt all i did was just to join the crotch dead we should be familiar by that i have several videos on actually how to make a short pant and also how to fix a pocket super easy guys i'll be dropping a link in the description boss in case you've not seen it you can go ahead and you know watch it so once i was done attaching that to the front piece i went over the back piece so for the back piece i had to split the band into two okay because there's going to be what a zipper allowance so i made a fold and you can see me using my pin you know to run and this all through so as i'm pinning it down um this is how i'm going to run my stitch all through okay yeah so once i was done running my stitch you can see you have it in place so at this point i will now fix my zipper okay so in order to go ahead with this uh this process i just use my pin to also hold it down assuming now that i have already fixed my zipper so this is how it will be looking so the other leftover two piece i have left i have to now you know use it to make a belt tie at the waist part so you see me attaching it at that same edge of the waistline so making sure that this strip is going to be in between okay it's not going to to pop out outside it has to be in between okay before you place your fabric on it yes so now at this point i'm now placing the front piece now over it placing it what at that waistline so you can see these guys so placing at that waistline of course taking note of the measurements you know of the waist okay so once i was done holding that just take your time and properly lay it on the table properly before you start making the stitch so you can see how the stitch is going it's going to go from that waistline run through the pocket all the way to the side the next is going to be the crotch and of course the lower part is the hemming part and guys this is ready once you're done with this then this flare jumpsuit is super ready guys that is it guys on how to make this beautiful um bralette flare jumpsuit guys 
And that is it. Super easy, guys. You might want to try this for yourself. So, guys, we have come to the end of the tutorial for this, guys. I hope you have fun because I really did, guys. So, uh, if you find this helpful, please don't forget to like, share. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, please, guys, don't forget to do that as well. I really appreciate that a lot. Please like my videos. I beg. This will really help, you know, to, to make a difference on my channel. I appreciate you a whole lot. And a very big thank you to all my subscribers i can't stop thanking you guys oh god i super forget thank you so much for 1000 subscribers guys thank you so so much i appreciate you guys a lot till i see you on the next video have a wonderful day